What's going on? Ladies and gentlemen, Crypto Airborne in the house, dropping you guys the latest and greatest cryptocurrency news and updates. Today is November 24th, 2022, and today's video, we'll be doing a crypto market overview. And then lastly, we'll be talking about Voyager and the Voyager token. Did pretty well last night. If you guys think that's interesting, stick around and I'll tell you all about it. All right, everyone, hopefully you guys are all having a great day today. It's Thanksgiving. I'm losing my voice, but I figured I'd try to come out here and pump out a video for you guys on your uh, your Thursday night, wherever you guys are at in the world. I know there's people that watch all over the world, but uh, some people don't celebrate Thanksgiving and whatnot. But, uh, oh, man, excuse my voice for the rest of this video. I'm, like, losing it a little bit. <clears throat> trying to, trying to, trying to, I can't talk today. Trying to drink some tea that seems to help, but... Uh, Hopefully it goes away. I had a bug and then I got this. I feel good, but it's just, I'm just losing my voice. Long story short. So let's just jump right into it. Again, guys, smash that thumbs up button on your way in. Consider subscribing if you aren't turned on notifications so you get notified as soon as I upload a video. Easiest thing you guys can do to help support the channel. And again, if you want to skip to whatever section, check the pinned comment section down below. Uh, and also just skip through the video. I do have uh, timestamps there as well. <clears throat> Excuse me, man. I might have to do that a couple times throughout the video. Let me just refresh it. So obviously it is Thursday, Thanksgiving. Uh, had a pretty good day. Ate a lot of food. And uh, yeah, here I am. But uh, market, market's just doing pretty neutral today. Not much movement. Obviously, a lot of people, at least in the United States, are probably just spending time with their families, not looking at crypto or traditional markets, all that type of stuff. But uh, Bitcoin is down just a little bit, 0.16%, barely anything. ETH's up, though, up 1.16%. Uh, what else do we got? XRP is doing pretty good, up about 4.13%. Top gainers today, we got VGX, up 24.29%, which we'll talk about later, sitting at 45 cents. Polyswarm, up about 13.4%. And Podicol, uh, up about 12.4%, sitting at 0 0.0028. Top losers, last 24 hours, we got Marinade, down 16%. Uh, and just a bunch of other stuff that we don't care about. I'm not even going to bore you guys with that. Again, today is Thanksgiving, November 24th, uh, 2022. It is National Day of Mourning. Huge one that a lot of people don't uh, probably know about. But it is the National Day of Mourning. Native American people in New England gather together to protest. Obviously, Native Americans were here first in America. So it's just a day that they um, just of remembrance. Thanksgiving, obviously. Uh, what else do we have today? Celebrate your unique talent. D.B. Cooper Day, he had the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, uh, which I do think my cousins <laughs> attended that. The National Dog Show Broadcast, Oliver Day, uh, Turkey Free Thanksgiving as well for, I guess, the vegetarian people out there. Not me. I like those turkeys. <laughs> uh, man, yeah, not going to get any of that. You guys know. Uh, <clears throat> crypto Bubbles, Top 100. Kind of mixed right now. Looks like there's a little bit more red than green, though. Uh, day, obviously, we got VGX is up. All my others seem to be down. Let's take a look at this past hour. Doge is up 2.3%. Other than that, nothing too crazy going on. Total crypto market cap right now, $788 billion. I uh, don't really have anything too crazy right now, except we're in this descending triangle, kind of touching this trend line right here. Uh, we're right at that Ichimoku cloud, right above it, so we might come down a little bit towards uh, the Ichimoku cloud. RSI, we're a little bit uh, overbought, it looks like. And on the MACD, kind of head back down to negative momentum, neutral territory on the histogram. CoinGecko always has this a little bit higher here. Let's take a look at what that's at. $868 million billion, I mean, up 0.3%. Again, just a pretty pretty neutral day today. Crypto Fear and Greed Index, let's see, no change from the previous day, 20, 20, so neutral there. DXY, though, at least on the daily, looks like we did uh, come down a little bit here. On the daily, closed out the day. Uh, weekly, we've been red, it looks like the last couple of weeks. I don't know why it's doing this, but it won't let me go to the the smaller time frames for whatever reason. I have to mess around with it, but uh, yeah, kind of neutral on the RSI, and we are in negative momentum, at least on the weekly. Daily, looks like we're heading back towards the neutral territory on the MACD, uh, which is kind of good. Maybe we'll see some more positive upside. Again, we are far away from the Ichimoku cloud, so I wouldn't 
be surprised if the DXY kind of touched this 105 and then kind of bounced off of it and made its way towards the Ichigoku cloud, which isn't going to be good for tra tra traditional or crypto markets. Again, uh, if you guys follow me, you know me. Whenever DXY is down, crypto markets, traditional markets are up and vice versa. Bitcoin dominance, I haven't had, th had this on here for a while, but uh, four hour chart looks like has been kind of bearish, uh, been in a downtrend for at least since uh, the last couple of days, looking at about a 40.29% on Bitcoin dominance. Uh, Bitcoin, we're looking at about 16,525 right now. We're in this massive uh, falling wedge, which historically is a bullish pattern. Again, we were far away from the Ichimoku cloud on about two days ago, and I said in my video that won't be surprised if we had a nice little recovery for Bitcoin, and sure enough, that's what happened. Respect the TA, and right now we're in this thin area of the cloud, uh, kind of neutral territory, a little tiny bit maybe over overbought on Bitcoin. The MACD looks like we're heading towards neutral, towards the negative momentum a little bit. I mean, who knows? But I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if we kind of broke to the downside if the DXY goes up and see another 15,527, but kind of continue to bounce around this massive falling wedge that we've had going uh, all the way back to the all-time high for Bitcoin and down to these summer lows for uh, Bitcoin back in 2021 during that bull run time frame. So keep an eye on this massive falling wedge. And, uh, you know, we could at least maybe maybe rally up here to the 16,000, actually to the 17,000, 16,900. But again, we're still just waiting for a massive move for Bitcoin. Uh, let's see, pre-market for tomorrow. Let's see where we're at. Looks like we're pretty positive. So that's good for traditional markets. We got Binance to point a billion to keep crypto industry afloat after FTX crash. We're going to talk about that here. Looks like it's making front line news here on the uh, the main news, the fake news, or you want to call it CNBC. But uh, uh, yeah, let's just jump right into it. Main topic of discussion is Voyager and Voyager token. Uh, you wouldn't think it'd be such crazy news, but in the middle of last night, I think it was like 1, 1.30 a.m. Eastern, I noticed there was a huge pump. And uh, I did do a tweet. No one else tweeted about it. I kind of screen grabbed uh, CZ talking about it, about how they are rebidding on the Voyager platform. That again shot up Voyager token, uh, pretty good. Let me see. I think what time that was at? Yeah, it was at like yeah about one thirty Eastern, or, yeah one thirty a.m. Eastern time. It's been just kind of hovering around that thirty six cents, but it's spiked all the way up to about fifty one, fifty two cents before coming back down and kind of stabilizing around forty two, forty three cents throughout uh, the the day today. A lot of the main movement obviously was on Binance and Coinbase being about 41% for Binance and 12.52% for Coinbase Exchange. But again, up 26.1% the last 24 hours. Market caps only $130 million with about $63 million in trading volume the last 24 hours for Voyager Token. Quick technical analysis here. Looks like we were kind of in like a little symmetrical triangle, which historically is a bullish pattern, which we did break above. And then also going on right now, it looks like we have a rising wedge you can kind of draw out here for you guys real time, uh, which kind of is a bearish pattern. We could bounce, bounce around here and then maybe see a movement to the downside. Again, uh, you just never know because this, this, this whole move right here is just based on, on some positive news if you want to take it that way. Uh, but we'll talk about that here uh, in a second. So first things first, again, CZ was on, I think it was Bloomberg or something la late last night. And uh, he said one of the things was that, let me, let me tell you a little something. Chinese company will never dare to say that they are not a Chinese company publicly. Hope that puts this to the test. Uh, last night, he is considering a bid for assets of bankrupt crypto firm Voyager. So I guess he said that multiple times that uh, I guess he is Canadian. He's been living in Canada for over 30 years or something like that. Um, and just because he, I guess, looks Chinese is what he said. Uh, but uh, he just want to make that clear that uh, Binance is not a Chinese company. I guess. I, I mean, I don't know where what where they stand. They're all over the world, I guess. But uh, if he really does want to be transparent, in my opinion, they definitely should go public. Who knows if that'll ever happen? <clears throat> Excuse me, guys, man. Also, they tried. He try, says he tries to be transparent, so they do have uh, the public address for the initial commitment of this Binance USD one billion dollars industry recovery initiative that uh, he announced. 
So what they want to do is Binance and a number of key industry players have joined together to commit $1 billion to provide financial support to the most promising and highest quality companies that need it most. Let's support and grow the industry together. So here's a blog post from Binance. Uh, essentially, they want to put together this fund. They want to bring uh, new Web3 companies up. They want to keep the crypto space together, Web3, all that type of stuff. And it is the Industry Recovery Initiative, IRI, new co-investment opportunity for organizations eager to support the future Web3. Some key facts, I'm not going to read them all. You guys can just uh, pause and read them, but it is not an investment fund, although it is kind of in a way. Uh, initially, they're going to commit $1 billion USD uh, to ramp up that amount to US to $2 billion in the near future. So far, they have Jump Crypto, Polygon Ventures, Aptos Labs, Animoca Brands, GSR, Kronos Broker Group has committed to participating with an initial aggregate commitment of around $50 million, and they expect more to join. Other participants' addre addresses will be released over the week. They have about 150 different applicants for companies seeking support under IRI. So what exactly is this? So the mandate of this new effort is to support the most promising and highest quality companies and projects built by the best technologists and entrepreneurs that through no fault of their own, are, are facing significant short-term financial difficulties. Voyager. What makes this initiative unique is a collaborative approach to restoring confidence in Web3. Collectively, they're going to be looking for projects characterized by one, innovation, long-term value creation, and two, a clearly delineated and viable business model, and three, a laser focus on risk management. Something Voyager definitely did not have. But with this fund, and when you're thinking about it, uh, and then Binance rebidding on Voyager's assets and potentially the platform if they decide to keep it. This is exactly going along with what this fund is doing. So are they going to use some of this funds and buy Voyager for who knows how much? Because previously they, they did bid, but they chose FTX is better uh, for customers as a whole. So who knows? Maybe this new bid will be a little bit better or they'll get a little bit more money. Maybe they'll keep the platform. They'll scrap Binance.us. Uh, user interface and maybe plug in Voyager platform, that would be awesome. But again, this was announced in uh, the announcement of CZ rebidding on Voyager. It's all kind of good news. However, you do have some critics in the space in the community uh, don't think in, they don't think that's such a good idea. You got DJ Crypto. Uh, everybody knows DJ Crypto, but he said that CZ slipped up and deleted a tweet showing his intent. He's all about eliminating competition and mon monopolizing the industry. He only cares for our assets and we get nothing creditors provided the assets and shouldn't get the upside don't force quick cash essentially kind of what sbf uh wanted to do he wanted to monopolize everything buy everyone out seem like the the white knight and the savior the crypto space and uh, this is what dj crypto's saying he's I don't, it sounds like he doesn't trust cz he thinks that he's just out there to become a monopoly in the crypto space uh but uh when we just talked about the fun that i just previously talked about um i don't know you could think you could think it that way but again if he really wants to be a white knight, he's a true believer in crypto and wanting the crypto space to succeed. He wants to open this fund and uh, save Voyager potentially and maybe use Binance.us and have the Voyager platform as that user interface or something. Maybe they'll keep the platform. Maybe they'll take the user interfaces and put it into Binance.us. You never know. It's just some of the things that I'm thinking about. A lot of people in the comments, I'm trusting CZ less and less. FTX should have sniffed out before the election. Uh, probably using those to fill holes like FTX. Uh, do you have a snapshot of the deleted tweet? DJ Crypto says he he does. I don't have it. I tried to find it. There was another deleted tweet that was on Twitter that they found, but it, I don't think it was related to this. So if you do have that, let me know. Uh, this guy said, why do you think creditors will get nothing? Personally, I think it would be in CZ's best interest to keep the Voyager app. Binance US is rough. I highly agree. CZ is about building his empire, but that includes keeping customers happy. Binance Global was amazing when we could use it. So again, I agree with this guy. I definitely think... Uh, they should somehow at least use the user interface, integrate it into U Binance at US, or just use the Voyager app. You know, I don't know. I, I don't know. What do you guys know? Let me know down in the comments. And then last tweet from DJ Crypto said, if Binance US uses $1 billion for Invest Voyager, we are screwed. We also have a probable worst case scenario. The app will go away. The token may get pawned off, and we get forced liquidated into Binance US. Yeah, that's definitely, I agree. It's another scenario that could, could happen. We don't know. Again, people say CZ likes to make customers happy, and there are... A lot of customers with Voyager that have crypto locked up, and we would all like, me personally, I'd like to just keep the app, keep it using, and not have to just switch over to Binance.us, although I do. I mean, if it happens, it happens. I mean, if I get 70% back or better, I'm happy. 50%, I don't really care. I just want it back. But uh, again, 
Long story short, Binance is rebidding on VG or on Voyager platform. Uh, the details, hopefully, we find out here soon, shortly. But uh, yeah, the, U the Voyager UCC unaccredited's are complete crap. We had to find through CZ himself, not UCC, that uh, they were in the rebid. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. But yeah, I'm going to just be quiet here because I keep losing my voice. So let me know what you guys think. Ooh, can't talk today, guys. <laughs> uh, make fun of me in the comments. Again, smash that thumbs up button for my voice cracking and losing my voice. Uh, go give me a follow and a subscribe on Kavari. Holding three of those Kavarians where I'm getting that staking, the KVRI. Have been uploading here and there on there. This is a built on Multiverse X, formerly Elrond, a decentralized NFT uh, video streaming platform where you can mint your videos. I like it a lot. Go follow me on uh, TikTok if you guys want. I've been going live on there. On recently unbanned uh, as of Saturday. Just, you know, hanging out, talking to you guys. Last but not least, go give me a follow on Twitter, where I am the most active, at crypto underscore airborne. All right, guys. Hopefully, you guys all had a great Thanksgiving. You spent some time with your family. You saw some family that you haven't seen in a while. I know this is always a big holiday for a lot of people. Uh, I just kind of went over to the in-laws and spent time with the family. It was good to have a day off of work. But uh, I'm back at that grind tomorrow morning. And uh, I'll be on a new shift, so I'll be on an early shift. So hopefully, I'll be pumping out some videos not Real late in the mo real late at night, but uh, more towards the end of the night, you know, eight, nine, ten, tenish uh, p.m. Eastern. So definitely looking forward to that uh, that time change and, and whatnot. So hopefully, you guys, all have a great, great rest of your night wherever you are, or great day wherever you are in the world. But uh, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button on your way out. Consider subscribing if you aren't. Turn on the bell notification so you get notified as soon as I upload a video. Hopefully, my voice gets better, and uh, that's gonna do it. Crypto Airborne. <laughs>